Hey everyone, it's Ryzen, and welcome back to Let's Play Summoner. Well, we want to head on to the south here. Now, if I get into a random encounter, I will probably just run. Uh, they're pretty damn annoying. If you encounter a guy named, uh, what's his name, Along, He has a quest that you can accept right now, but we can accept that quest later, so I'm not overall concerned about it. And you can't really do anything with that quest right now, anyway. There's also, uh... A cat called Death. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just ignore that NPC as well. And, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. When Lahara murdered Urath at the end of the third Arenagath, the dragon of Wulong mourned for a thousand years, and his tears formed the Lake of Sorrows. But each year, when the monsoons came, the rain would fill the dragon's heart with grief, and he wept once again. The people who lived on the Lake of Sorrows feared their village would be washed away by the dragon's tears, and so they made offerings to appease the dragon and distract him from his grief. With festivals and music, laughter and dance, the people of Wulong saved their village from the floods. Man, I love the lore in this game. Also, I don't really like my controller not functioning properly. The only one I just turned it on. It's so annoying. Anyway, this is not really a town right now. It's kind of a dungeon, so... Probably want to draw your weapons. Oh, let's summon. Oh, right. Only one hand. <laughs> anyway, let's head on over to the west first. I'd like to avoid fighting if I can. Uh, I can take out that guy. Yeah, pretty much expect uh, the whole trip backstab thing to be my bread and butter for the rest of the game. It works on just about every remaining enemy. I think there's a couple of exceptions, but not very many. Also, this is the new old headset, <laughs> so hopefully it won't be squeaky and hopefully it'll sound good. It's just another Turtle Beach PX21. But anyway, we want to talk to, uh, Rosalind. She's over here. Yeah, he escaped. Oh. Yeah, why is he searching for the gatherers? Should be pretty obvious, Joseph. That makes sense. I guess it's pronounced Wulong, huh? I always pronounced it Wolong. Something important. What? There's eight rings? Since when? Oh. That's odd. You know, I wish they had Rosalind, like, comment on this earlier. Like, maybe subtly, but, eh, whatever. It is a nice little twist. Yeah, you still hate him? Well, Jakar still does, that's for sure. But, why wouldn't Yago, or rather, Machival, the Demon of Darkness, why wouldn't he want the other four rings freed as well? Sorry, I, I spoiled a villain's name. Oh, well, there you go. Rosalind said it anyway. <laughs> but why? Oh. 
Well, that's awfully convenient for us. So it looks like we're going to have to go through four dungeons. <laughs> They're not just going to hand us one of these rings or anything like that, so... Got four areas we gotta go through, just like in uh, Medivh, it's gonna be pretty cool. Gotta go to the Caverns of Wolong, huh? Maybe we should talk to Zeman, huh? Hmm. Yep. Join us. So we get Rosalind back in the party. She comes with whatever she had before. So, yeah, pretty much want to leave her as is. Obviously, if you don't have a holy quilted robe like I do, just use the quilted robe. We will eventually replace that in the not-too-distant future, but for now, it's what we got. Anyway, uh, well, how about the ring you saw? So there's a ghost in the caverns, but... Why do we want to stay away? I mean, we gotta go there, right? Oh. Oh, so we have to sneak past them somehow, huh? There are a lot of guys up there. If you try to go up there, you're going to likely die. You can do it, but I don't recommend it. <laughs> wow. That's... Yeah, Murad's kind of a dick. Well, maybe we can take down this Pajian guy. How do you fulfill the prophecy? Well, gotta get your hand back first. Y you need a fish, a stick, a knife, and a rice bowl. And these things have to specifically be a specific kind of fish, a charcoal stick, a knife from a widow, and the rice bowl has to come from a traitor. What the hell? Oh, okay. I guess. I don't think we're meant to take that too seriously. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway. We want to go to the south first. Uh, which way south? This way. I wish there was a compass on screen, but there's not. Can you get out of the way, Rosalind? Thank you. There's a treasure chest up here that we have to get. There it is. It's going to contain, uh, Anzi's box that we need to give, well, to a guy named Anzi. <laughs> Yeah, let's go over here. We're looking for... Mean. You know what, let's go ahead and get Protect going. Not a huge deal, but... Really, I can kill enemies so quickly, I don't really need blind, but why not use it? It's cheap, it's very crippling to the enemies. Especially when you get ambushed by a guy. Hey, can you uh, cast it as well? There we go. Oh, of course it's locked. Success. Well, we get a fine bladed katana that I'll never use. I was gonna say, I shouldn't need to trip this guy. Rosalind's probably dealt some damage to him. Except she has a bow, so... No, she has a... What are you doing, Rosalind? No, no, just, just, just go over there. She got kind of stuck on fleece there. Weird pathing there. This guy's probably already almost dead. Nope, he's still got half health. Pretty good stuff. Let's go ahead and get regenerate on Rosalind, because she took a pounding there. Ugh. That's not good for her. Well, she didn't do too bad there, I guess. Now, this guy over here... This is not part of a side quest, but... 
he's interesting to talk to, so we'll talk to him. Oh, yeah. Your heroic victory, huh? With pride, huh? Oh. I guess he's depressed about it. Didn't think that, that uh, things would end up this way, huh? Well, you know what? You should live and redeem yourself. Well, Aoki's going to come back to try and liberate the town, hopefully. Exactly. I think if you tell him the other option, he will disappear uh, later on in the game. Just a little cool little interaction you can have with an NPC that actually affects that NPC. That's Gulan. We don't want to talk to that person. Oh, no. Not that. Ah, damn it. We want to go down here. There are quite a few enemies around town as well, but not nearly as many. If that other guy comes after me, I'll uh, blind him. But no, he didn't see me. Let's keep uh, Protect going. What the? I'm surprised I still got the full backstab on that one. Min, I think, is right. Is that her? Or him? No, that's Paisy. Evidently, I'm forgetting where Min is. Take out that guy. There we go. Thought it was somewhere. I think I went one building too far. Nope. Right here? Yeah, I knew it was around here somewhere. We want to talk to this person. How did you get your revenge? Oh! So you're a traitor. You wouldn't happen to have a rice bowl, would you? Wow. Dude's a dick. What about Paisy? Oh, so Paisy's a fruit guy, huh? A fruit merchant. What about Aoki? murdered. You know, I wish we learned more about that, because... You know, it sounds like some rogue Jade Temple soldiers did some act of physical violence upon him and his family, and he's conflating that to, like, the entire group. But they don't really go into more detail about that, but, eh. Whatever, let's get this fish from this fisherman over here. This is Zeman that we heard about. You fish with birds? Can you catch the onyx carp? What kind of tree? Well, I don't have any fruit. What about the dragon? What did you give the dragon? Oh, you sacrificed your eyes. You plucked out your eyes and threw- you, you know what? Screw it. Okay. More lore here.
Yeah, we already talked to the jerk. What happened in the square? Those who would be spared, huh? Okay. If you call that being spared. <laughs> Sounds like a... Different form of slavery, really. I guess you just kind of got lucky. Of course, they killed all the soldiers. Yeah, we've uh, only met him once. Kind of. He was in that little scene at the end of, uh, or at the beginning of chapter two. That would be you, Joseph. You are the one hand. Yeah, you would have, uh, if you didn't know where to go, this guy would have told you. Well, let's, uh, go over to Paisy. We gotta get that, uh, fruit. Wow. That's quite the drama there. But, can you give me some fruit? Or, uh, well, actually, no, he, he's kind of a traitor, so... I feel, at least he's remorseful, I guess. Well... I think a lot of people probably would have done what, well, he did. I mean, that's, that's awfully intimidating if somebody's pointing a damn sword at you. <laughs> kind of odd that they actually ended up paying the guy in the end. Seems more like Pajian was just kind of manipulating him to begin with. And sort of gave him the silver at the end just to be a dick, really. Like, here's what you did. Here's your reward. Anyway, let's talk to Gulan the Mourner. Yeah, she's the widow that we need. Can I have your knife? Cool. Well, hopefully she gets back pretty soon. That would be Joseph. <laughs> Once again, if you didn't know where to go, she would tell you. Yeah, it's probably both their fates. Well, we got the knife, so now we want to head up the bridge. Well, we've already talked to Heidi, so... I don't, or, Haiti. I don't know how you pronounce his name. So, let's just head over to Zeman. Usually I circle around the other way in town, but I kind of went... the reverse of what I usually do. But now that we have the fruit, we can uh, hand that into Zeman and get the Onyx Carp. I'll just, uh, get all the stuff and then call it a day. 
Ask about fishing. Tell them about the onyx carp. What kind of treat? I have fruit. If you say you have no fruit, you're going to have to go through all the dialogue again, if I remember right. But yeah, we get an onyx carp for that. And all we have to do now is head, all, head uh, all the way over to the east. Shouldn't be too difficult to do that. I don't think there's really any enemies all the way over here. But uh, we're looking for Anzi. Because we need that... Uh, well, we still got one more item to get. The stick of charcoal. Oh, phew. You can fit through that. I couldn't remember. Can't fit through a street light, though. He's over here. He's over here. Need a stick of charcoal. Lost his uh, box, but fortunately we have it. What are you doing here? Well, it's a good thing you were painting when you were painting, huh? Well, fortunately, we got that back for you. Well, not everybody can uh, handle that. So you actually saw the dragon as well, huh? Well, kind of saw it. He actually starts walking around now for some reason. There's another dude down here that... has some things to say. This is, uh, Kiyi, I think? Yep, he's the summoner. What about Aoki? Too bad we don't ever get to go to Shangao. Oh well. Oh, they're just a few hours from uh, Wolong? Oh, this guy's just a scout. Why? Oh yeah, forced march, huh? Well, maybe we can help you win the battle. But first we gotta fix Joseph's hand. So let's hand in all that stuff and uh, call it a day. Wonder how we're gonna get past all those guys to go to the cavern of Wolong. Still gotta get that ring. And hopefully the cat did not bother you too much with uh, <laughs> her scratching post. I'm going to pick that up from now on so that way she can't play with it while I'm recording. It was driving me crazy after a while, so. Well, she is a kitten, so she's got a lot of energy. So here's uh, back to C's here. Or C's hay, or... I don't know. Anyway, I brought what you asked for. Oh god. That... That is... That is disgusting. No. No, I'm not drinking that. No one should have to drink that. Yeah, well... They didn't have to drink sludge. <laughs> I like how Rosalind's just like, God damn it, Joseph, just drink the damn thing. Okay. I, I love the description. <laughs> oh. oh, that's hilarious. So after all that, the hand still isn't back. 
We have to eat a plant. But, yeah, that's what killed Tancred. How is that supposed to help Joseph? I'm not sure how that works, but sure, whatever you say. Pool of wonders, huh? Put your hand in it? It's not going to be like the whole fire thing, is it? Ugh. Yeah, what about Pajian soldiers? Please, how are you going to get Joseph and Rosalind up there? <laughs> so we get some Tears of Usaman. Uh, they uh, cast Invisibility. But it's a very high level invisible spell. It makes you completely undetectable. But it's very limited in how long it lasts, so you really gotta book it up to the top. Some people... ...don't like to use it. They like to save that for a part later on in the game. I don't, uh... I'll be well prepared for that section of the game, so... No big deal there. I do, however, want to, uh... Well, end the episode. So next time, we'll be heading up there to the, uh... Yeah, let's leave our weapons away. To the, uh, Caverns of Wolong. Watch Joseph's hand when he gets healed. <laughs> you can see it for a split second. It's funny. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna end it here. This is Ryzen. Thanks for watching. Next time we'll head to the Caverns of Wolong.